St. Lucia is strengthening its capacity to protect women and girls. A stakeholder workshop on March 21st focused on the follow-up mechanism to the Inter-American Convention on Preventing, Punishing, and Eradicating Violence Against Women, MESECVI, within the framework of the Belém do Para Convention. Yesterday, my colleagues Eva Villarreal and Tatiana Benser and I, we had the privilege, we had the honor of visiting the Women's Support Center and the St. Lucia Crisis Center, where we did a site tour and held informative and candid discussions with the staff of these entities. Ladies and gentlemen, having a first-hand understanding of the conditions, the challenges, and yet courageous achievements of these entities and others like them in St. Lucia showed us over and over again in the exchanges we had that you are the true heroines in this Women's Month. You are the true heroines who work tirelessly and against the odds and with astounding limitations to make a difference in the lives and the livelihoods of women and families in St. Lucia. Inter-American Commission of Women, SIM Specialist and Caribbean Member States Coordinator, Yasmin Solathi, says reviewing sheltering and service provision for victims of gender-based violence sexual exploitation, and trafficking, especially migrant women, was pivotal. Through your work on the ground, we were able to vicariously experience, you know, how daunting it can be to make good on your commitments to state obligations. Specialist in violence against women, Eva Villarreal, with McSevy, thanked gender affairs officials in St. Lucia for facilitating the workshop. The theme of our event aims to address two specific issues that together can contribute to a better life to women survivors of violence. First, collecting mm, appropriate data can give us the dimension of the problem. Second, but not less important, providing adequate shelter housing to women survivors and their families is fundamental for saving their lives, keeping them out of the circle of violence and providing with an opportunity to have a future for them. It is a topic that resonates deeply with us and holds the potential to inspire meaningful discussions and actions. Throughout today's training, I encourage each of you to actively engage, share your insights, and foster uh, the connections. Let us seize this opportunity to collaborate, learn from one another. We are here to learn from you and explore avenues for progress and uh, future collaboration. Minister with Responsibility for Crime Prevention and Persons with Disabilities and Acting Minister for Gender Affairs, Jeremiah Norbert, deputized for Dr. Virginia Albert Poyot. We hope that when we pass laws, they're able to meet the intention, which is to reduce the incidence and prevalence and also to improve access to justice and to create a safer space for everyone. 2024 marks the 30th year of the Convention of Belém do Para, Mesecvi, and St. Lucia was the second Caribbean state to sign on to the historic convention. Solaj Alfred, HTS News Force.